Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So today's video is a full face of Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is a brand that is so nostalgic to me. I remember for my 19th birthday, I think it was, my friends all put money and clubbed together to buy me an original foundation starter kit from the brand. So that's why I'm so excited today to team with Bare Minerals to bring you this makeup look, which as you can see, is super dewy, really glowy, natural, kind of everyday makeup look. It's super easy to recreate but not only that, we're using such great high quality, high performance products with really minimal ingredients. They're all really clean, cruelty free, great for your skin and I just like <laughs> can't stop looking at my highlighter. This highlighter is blowing my mind. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So as you can see, my skin is really breaking out at the moment. It's that time of the month, I'm feeling really hormonal and there's nothing I can really do to sort these blemishes out, apart from these really great skincare with clean ingredients, which is what I've been doing. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Primetime BB Primer Cream. I love this because it has an SPF 30, which I think is just great for everyday use. So I'm just gonna pop some pumps on to my hand it has got a slight pigment to this so it's immediately going to calm down any redness and my blemishes which is just what i need but it leaves my skin feeling so soft and silky and like the perfect base for concealer and foundation bare minerals have so many incredible foundations available i like found it so hard to choose what one i wanted to use in this video but i've decided to go for the original foundation today and that's just because it's got everything in it that i'm after it's got really buildable coverage and it will leave me looking very natural kind of almost like i'm wearing no makeup because it's so light on the skin first though i'm going to apply some concealer i'm using the bare pro concealer and this is in the shade fair cool 01 and i'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and on any blemishes i basically want to cover any of my really terrible imperfections before i go ahead and put the foundation on so i'm just taking the max coverage concealer brush and just blending those in really gently i absolutely love this brush because it actually feels like a fingertip is blending the concealer in i always use my finger to normally just pat stuff into my skin but this almost mimics that and saves you getting dirty fingers. So now I'm taking my original foundation and I'm going to be applying it with the beautiful finish brush which is really unique. It's got a little dip in the middle which makes it absolutely perfect for using with mineral foundation. You only need the tiniest bit of product for a great kind of finish on this foundation so I'm literally just going to tap that out into the cap of my foundation. It's the tiniest amount that you need. I'm gonna take my brush and swell that product in, give it a quick tap, and then I'm gonna start by working it around the outside of my face and then bringing it in. I popped into the Bare Mineral store in Covent Garden and I had a makeup artist create this really gorgeous kind of like peachy orange look on me, which I loved, but she also taught me how to really use this foundation to get maximum results. So I'm basically just copying what she showed me there, just buffing this powder in and even though it's a powder it gives you the most gorgeous dewy finish which is really buildable you can either wear it for like a sheer coverage or you can build it to really high coverage but it doesn't look like powder that and the fact that it only has five ingredients in it five mineral ingredients is all that is in this foundation that's one of the things i absolutely love about bare minerals as a brand that they're really clean like they don't put any unnecessary harsh ingredients in any of their products i'm loving this finish already can you see how dewy that is but it's a powder also i do want to quickly mention they have a blemish rescue um skin clearing loose powder foundation so it's very similar to the original but it contains really great ingredients to help with kind of like active breakouts. So it has salicylic acid in it. So as well as like covering your imperfections so you feel more confident throughout the day, then it also has the ingredients in it to help fight kind of the bacteria around acne. So I think the main reason I chose this foundation to use today is because it's so 
dewy and light on the skin and that's exactly the look I'm going for today. I want to kind of look like I'm wearing no makeup but I am wearing makeup. So I'm done with my base and my foundation for the meantime. I'm now going to move on to eyes. First up, brows. I'm using the Brow Master Sculpting Pencil. I love this product because it has a spoolie on one end. So I always start my brows by just brushing them up into place and then taking the pencil applicator on the other side. I'm just gonna mimic kind of my hairs in my brows. So it looks really natural. I'm using the shade Coffee for reference. Yeah, Coffee. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna use one of their primers. Now I can't actually decide what one to use because I love these all so much. They're the Gen Nude eye primers. Oh, I really, I love them all. I might go for my favorite here and use this one. This is called Woke and it's the most gorgeous orange eye primer. You could literally just wear this by itself. It's so beautiful. But I'm gonna use this as a base before I go ahead and apply some eyeshadows on top. So you only need a tiny bit. I'm just gonna pop that on there like that. And I'm taking my Shade and Diffuse eye brush and I'm just gonna blend that in. How gorgeous is that? You could literally go out wearing just this instead of eyeshadow. It also blends out really beautifully. I've tried eye primers in the past that have kind of like dried to a really cakey, crusty formula, whereas this one, it dries beautifully, it doesn't crease, but you can really work with it and blend it out. I'm gonna leave a link to all the products I'm using in the description box below as well. Next, it's time for eyeshadow and oh, I love this palette. This is the Gen Nude Neutral Eyeshadow Palette and wait till you see this. Ah, it's so beautiful. It contains such a nice mix of shimmers and mattes for kind of like an everyday look or a smoky brown look. So I'm gonna start with Native, I think, is a really nice kind of matte taupey brown. I'm gonna use this with my blender brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product, tap the excess off, and just work that into the outer crease of my eye just to add a little bit of smokiness. This color works so beautifully with that orange primer as well. I'm really trying to make a conscious effort at the moment to pay it real attention to what I'm putting on my skin and like what ingredients I'm using. And so that's why I'm so happy that I'm working with Ben Minerals. I really love their values. They really care about us and our skin and what we're putting onto it. And I just think that's incredible for a brand. So I'm just taking some more of that shade Native underneath my lower lash line too. I'm also going to take a little bit of this shade, it's called Mystic and it's a nice kind of like nude. And I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. Next up, mascara. When the makeup artist showed me this in store, I was like, I've been doing mascara wrong my entire life. So this is the Lashtopia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara. It normally takes me a good couple of months to get into a mascara, but this one from the get go, I was just like, whoa. I'm just brushing that and wiggling that through my lashes. But the tip I got taught was once you lift it through the lashes, I hope that I explain this properly, lift it through the lashes and just as you're on the end, just hold it there, hold your lashes up and in place and you will get the best volume in your lashes. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? That difference is incredible. So I'm quickly going to do the other eye and also my lower lashes as well. Lashes are now done, so I am going to go ahead and finish my base. For contour and kind of general warming up my skin, I'm gonna be using their Invisible Bronze Fetalite Bronzer. Looks like this. So gorgeous, I love that this isn't too orange. And I'm taking their Seamless Shaping and Finish brush to just run that down my cheekbones. I don't know why, but I feel so much more confident in myself now that I've got my base and eyes on. It's great how makeup can make you feel like that, like, so confident. Look at that, that is so pretty. It works really well with that foundation as well. You could even use this as an eyeshadow as well, just to tie the whole look in together. I'm also gonna use this as a contour for my nose, so I'm just taking that same concealer brush, just gonna pack that in, and just run either side. For highlighter, I'm gonna use one of their brand new products, which isn't even out yet. It's coming out very, very soon, I think in September. I'm gonna leave the details down below, but it's called the Bear Pro Glow Highlighter Luminous Lifting and Lasting. 
I've got the shade free. They're just like illuminating drops. So I'm just going to add a couple of pats of that to my cheekbones. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is so beautiful. Tip on my nose. Cupid's bow. I'm also going to add a tiny bit more highlighter just because I'm highlighter obsessed. This is the Invisible Glow Highlighter. Looks like this. It's so beautiful. I'm applying it with this brush. Look. Oh, what my goodness. I'm also actually going to take some of that on the eyeshadow blender brush and just run that underneath my brow bone just to tie the whole look in together. And to finish for lips, I'm going to be using one of my all-time favourite lipsticks. It's called Kitty and it looks like this. Oh, it just goes with the look so beautifully. It's got a really nice creamy formula. It feels really moisturising on the lips. And I'm also going to add a touch of lip liqueur on top. This is in the shade Squad. It's from the Jen Nude collection. So this is the finished look. I absolutely love this look. I think it's perfect for all year round. It's so dewy, so glowy, so fresh, fresh faced. And I can't quite get over the fact that all of these products are so natural. They contain no harsh ingredients, but as you can see, the effect and their performance is so high quality and also so good for your skin, which I think is so important. So if you can, do be sure to pop into a bare mineral store yourself so you can learn more about the products and their ingredients, their foundation range in particular. I'm just blown away by it. I couldn't choose a favourite, I love every single one. I really hope you have enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could leave me a comment down below, let me know what your favourite Bare Minerals product is. I'd also love it if you could subscribe, I will leave all links down below and I will see you very soon. Mwah.